So I'm I'm Karthik, one of the pathologists. I um, I I did my uh, MBBS and MD from India, and then came over here, um, and then did the full training um, to get the FRC path, and then became a consultant. Um, I've just I'll just go through the different options and what are all the requirements uh, for um, for working or and also training um, in UK. Um, so. The main difference, um, so just just general info here. Um, most of the hospitals um, we work for um, national health center, so it's it, national health service. This is basically like a um, this is government funded um, hospitals. Um, so the patient, I mean, we uh, everybody uh, pays um, from their salary. They pay national insurance, and so they get a free treatment for um, in the hospital. Um, so most of the, I mean, about ninety percent, ninety-five percent of the um, of the hospitals here is NHS. Uh, only there are there are some private hospitals as well, um, which which they, they don't de generate much of histopathology work. So most of the jobs is from the NHS hospital. For basically for for working as a doctor in uh, UK, you need to have um, full registration with the General Medical Council. General Medical Council is the they um, they they give the license to practice so they've got um different type of registers so um so one of the registers um if you want to practice histopathology in uk you have to be in the specialist register um, that you are a histopathologist so then you can work as a histopathologist the main difference between um this is just a training a postgraduate training just comparison between india and uk in in UK, it is practiced as a pure histopathology, where we don't have uh, much of clinical pathology, um, or we don't, um, and there there is not much of emphasis on lab techniques because these lab techniques and everything is done by um, separately by biomedical scientists. So they have got a different um, those uh, the biomedical scientists have a um, like like graduation um, um, on on lab techniques and everything. So they will they will be dealing with all those things. So our um, as as a, as a consultant histopathologist, uh, uh, as a trainee histopathologist, you will you will be required to know mainly histopathology. So as, as, I just put a tableau column just to explain. So histopathology, so so cytopathology is there again. They um, now now it is more and more divided into non-gynae and gynae cytology because the gynae cytology is becoming more centralized. So mainly um, it's all um, HPV test and then. Pap smears, HPV test, and it's it's a different kind of um, work of is being done, and it is, uh, and they are um, um, they they report all their cases uh, via the NHS cancer uh, cervical cancer screening program, so that's why it has been separated out. So again, that's an optional. Um, if you just do histopathology, you will be doing non gynecology and histopathology. Autopsy is again um, an optional. They made it optional. Um, so, uh, but you need to do a minimum of uh, of twenty or something uh, for the first year, and then you can opt out of autopsy. Um, so, clinical pathology. So, we don't deal with clinical pathology, but if you are if you are keen, you can you can report bone marrow biopsies, to find biopsies as part of histopathology. Um, we don't report bone marrow aspirates or or, or peripheral smear or anything. It's all done by um, hematologists. So mainly the the key thing is um, um, if you we need to get GMC registration for um, if we want to work as a histopathology. So so I'm just trying to uh, there are the different ways of getting GMC registration. Um, the straightforward route is the PLAB. Um, so the PLAB is an is an exam. So um, I'll come to the next page and then, yeah. So um, PLAB is a uh, an exam um, which Mainly um, tailored, mainly at the level of house urgency. Um, so the, the part one can be taken in the international centers, can be taken in India. It's a multiple choice questions. And once you passed part uh, passed part one, then you can come to UK to do the part two. So part two is mainly clinical, um, but it isn't. Um, there will be like sixteen stations, and um, so you will be asked to do some specific. Um, things in those uh, 16 scenarios and again at the level of crra it is just to make sure that the knowledge um, is um, up to the level of house agency and also you, you are a safe 
you know safe doctor that's what it's trying to find out um so once you passed part 2 then you are eligible for full registration with gmc so you can you once you passed plab you can you are eligible to apply any jobs any medical jobs any 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 jobs um so that is the that is the route um one to get the gmc registration the second is through the sponsorship scheme where um you you have to come through the college um so th so the college which um uh, college with the college which which deals with histopathology is royal college of pathology so the royal college of pathology um so you have to contact them uh, for uh, an, a sponsorship so again they they provide there are two different types of uh, sponsorship one is where you want to you you are already a qualified histopathologist but you want to get some uk training then um you there is a there is a bar you can uh, one or i think i don't know it's a, i think maximum of 3 years i think uh, so you can do um 3 years experience as uh, you can work here as for 3 years and then um, the key thing is you have to go back to india after 3 years so that's just as an uh, uh, as an experience um that again that goes through the college so you have to apply to the college and then the college um then um then they then they'll find as i think you have to apply to the college and that's how it's 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 being dealt with i think that the first portal of um, contact is, the, is through the college then the, the the other route is where if you want to settle um or if you want to uh, aim for a consultant job in um in uk so where you have done your post graduation then um if you have also um done frc path 1 and and 2 then you you can go through what is called a pathway is called as a um, cesr pathway where you uh, you you get a um, you again you go through the uh, college the um, and, and also contact the gmc so there is a pathway where you have to show um, that you have got you have got the necessary training from overseas um and you and you uh, and based on the, you have to apply and uh, you know you to, there, there are a few things i think i put a um I, I will share this presentation with um with with you so there is a powerpoint presentation uh, not a powerpoint um and a pdf presentation um on what are all the things necessary how to apply and all those details so if you get a csr then you can um when if the so once you get the csr then the gmc can register you as a specialist registrar then once you are the specialist registrar then you are free to apply uh, so you, you, your chances of getting a job is very very um, easy once you once you are the csr but the pathway is quite complicated um, i mean i tried to read that um, i found it even i found it difficult but these are all things that has happened um, the last uh, 5 years i would say yeah now um, so as i told you before so one pathway is training so where you you have to, you, you are ready to undergo training for 4 to 5 years um, of training um so if you're planning that route so you can, you can you can pass the ielts exam which is provided by the british council you can do it in india you get the score and then you apply for the plab get the plab 1 and then come over here to plab 2 um and then try to uh, find um an, uh, i mean usually for it, it usually after plab 2 if you can get an observership where um you can just um watch um uh, how uh, how um you know the histopathology lab functions in uk that will help you to because when you apply for an interview um so um the histopathology uh, but, uh, training... uh, excuse me dr Karthik, Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. but most of them here are uh, uh, having finished their post graduation so yeah. do they need to go through this lab no, no, that, that's what i'm saying so the, I, i'm coming to the but i wanted to mention this this because um if you come through the training job then you will you don't you won't the the see there will be seamless transition from training to uh, um, to become a consultant while if you take the other route then it, it there will be a lot of um, you know the, 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 the application process and all the all the other process are quite um, extensive anyway i'll, I'll oh. just quickly go through this um um so the histopathology training um, the interviews usually occurs in january to march where um, you you don't you don't need part 1 or part 2 you just come here and then um apply for the um, uh, what is your pl pl past plab then you can apply for the training job and then there's a four four year uh, four to five year run, run through training and then at the end of five years then you are free to apply for a consultant job 
by the so in that five years you would do part one and part two um and then you will get the uk experience as well um so this is the sponsorship um uh, which i mentioned before so this is the one which which uh, miss uh, um, um, but my madam was saying so this is already you are qualified as a histopathologist in india now um so usually um you 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 got a um the initial stage is to apply to the gmc um with 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 your primary medical um, uh, qualification certificate ielts and um there is a cv uh, from the college template i think uh, there, there are a lot of links in this presentation i will um I will share it with you so that you can use those links. There is you, you have to provide your C, CV and also um, there is a CV from the GMC as well. Um, you have GCV template, so all those things you have to submit um, to the to the college, um, and then um, and then in, you, then you have to apply for the job. The difficulty here is um, they don't even though they don't say FRC Path One and Part Two is necessary um, without without that um, the hospitals won't consider um, because if they don't have any uk based training or uk exams then they won't be shortlisted for 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 the interview for the consultant jobs so that's where the problem is so i would suggest if if you're going coming to this uh, if you're passed part 2 um, and then apply for that job then your chances of uh, shortlisted for the interview is very high and um then once you got the job then you just have to endorse by rc path and then once it's endorsed then you can your name you can enter into the gmc specialist register so these are the three stage process for the sponsorship um, route now um uh, so this is this run through training which which i mentioned before i think um this is just a repetition so if you want to do a training job um th that is it so, so i mean yeah i think that there's a lot of um just for the repetition though. so again i just wanted to know that uh, do the personal reflection um um I, th i think over the years there's a lot of changes has happened um so, but one thing which which is quite um uh, very important is there is a significant shortage of histopathologists in the uk um and uh, there is every hospital you 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 if you if you ask they have the shortage of one or two pathologists so um and um, that is that is one of the key attractions for um, for, for 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 coming over to uk to do the uh, for, for because there there is a chance that you know you if you if you follow one of the rules there is a chance that you can get a job um, easily number one number two is um in my uh, in my uh, opinion i think uk experience um will definitely help um so with the qualifications from india um you uh, there is a less chances of you being shortlisted in uk so if you have frc path part 1 um and then um if you if you are I mean, even a frc path part 2 exams um what we for i mean uh, there are many um, many um, candidates have come from um, india with part uh, with their experience only in india and then have come here to do part 2 and um personally a couple of them have uh, have come to my hospital they were with with me for a month and uh, just to know the how the uk system works before their exams um they found it little bit difficult in that sense the the the, the exams how the, the way they are uh, the questions are asked the way you are um, marked in the exams is is slightly different from how we do it in in india and being in a shorter period of time for a month will not give that ex experience to pass the part 2 exams so if you are keen to do the part 2 exams in 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 in, in, in uk then um, i would suggest um, you there is a, i mean you can come to there are there are some jobs advertised as specialist doctor post in histopathology um so the specialist uh, doctor post in histopathology is is actually um it is um it, it is not at the consultant level but you will be doing most of the uh, you know reporting and everything but only thing you will not be allowed you will be allowed to sign out some of the cases but so some of the like cancers and all those things you might have to double report with the consultant 
but that that position will give you um, good insight into what what are all the requirements uh, for exams and what are, what is the standard practice what guidelines we use for reporting and probably a year or two in a specialist doctor and then you apply for frc path 2 then you can by that time you can also you'll also be uh, you can you can come through the csr pathway for a consultant job so that's something which which I found maybe more useful for anybody who is interested, um, but you will have to invest a, a one year or two years in that specialty doctor post, and then um, get the exams, part two exams, and then apply through the CSR path for consultant job. Um, and also, it'll it'll get it'll help to get references, UK UK references. Um, um, so all the boxes will be ticked if you uh, if you come through that. Uh, if you pass the part two exams, then um, and then again, you know, the, one of the things when we shortlist um, um, overseas candidate, one of the things it's asked is if they, if they do they have any UK experience or, or have worked in any other hospitals in UK. So again, then if they if they haven't, then again that is the that is the uh, problem. Um, so I mean, we we last year uh, we. We appointed somebody uh, who has done part two as a as a locum. Um, a locum job means it work only for a um, shorter duration, six months or one year, um, and then um, and then depending on their performance and if they want to wish to stay, then they can they can apply for extension or they can move to um, uh, the proper consultant uh, job. Um, so. But again, not many hospitals are ready to do that because they have to sponsor the visa, they have to sponsor for GMC. There is a lot of paperwork and a um, lot of uh, work to, for the hospital to do. So they are not keen on doing those things. But if you have a GMC registration and if you've got the visa sorted, then they are happy to consider your application. So you, you can see there is there are a lot of factors which play uh, uh, here to for for. for for gaining a post in um, histopathology, I think um, I think these are all my um, inputs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.